or any definition definition uh, AR. So augmented reality is one of the main pillar of te technological advancement to the industry 4.0. So, yang kita difahamkan, memang dalam industri uh, 4.0 ini, kita ada sembilan uh, main pillar. So, yes. Uh, so, one of the, the the main pillar is the augmented reality. So, apakah keistimewaan uh, augmented reality ini adalah dia adalah integration. Okay, integration of uh, digital information in our real world. Okay, so, um, yang di sini digital information uh, kita tak dekat kepada video, audio, uh, 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 image, text. Yang kita boleh lagi uh, banyak digital information yang kita boleh masuk di dalam AR, di dalam uh, 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 tools inilah. Okay, so for example 3D modeling. So kita boleh Uh, uh, masukkan 3D atau kita boleh masukkan uh, uh, model, 3D model atau simulation di dalam uh, AR atau di dalam uh, uh, project atau multimedia AR ini lah. So that's why, that's why um, dia lebih uh, bermanfaat lah. Dia dia lebih, lebih bawa lebih uh, information okay, kepada uh, user. Okay, so kita boleh tengok sini. So, di sini ada a few example, a few example of AR. So, memang di di sebelum ini memang banyak company telah menggunakan AR dalam produk mereka. So, for example, IKEA, dia dia menggunakan AR untuk mempromosikan produk dia. So, untuk AR Loper, dia menggunakan uh, AR dalam uh, education. Okay, so for example, kita boleh tengok video ini ya. Ini adalah uh, untuk uh, IKEA punya uh, produk. Okay, so daripada tadi video tadi yang uh, IKEA sebenarnya uh, major kelusi atau uh, berabut lah yang ditunjuk dalam video ini memang dia adalah 3D modeling. Dia tak wujud dalam dunia yang sebenar yang real world. Tapi dengan menggunakan AR teknologi dia akan pop up. Dia akan wujud uh, di dalam dunia, di dalam uh, 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 real world yang yang kita nampak nampak uh, 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 sekarang tapi of course kita kena menggunakan a certain uh, devices untuk pop up 3D modeling for example kita menggunakan uh, basically kita menggunakan uh, handphone so that's why mereka kan menggunakan handphone untuk uh, view view uh, uh, marker dia sebenarnya dalam buku eh, buku katalog dia ada satu marker dia scan and then dia akan pop up meja ke, kelusi ke atau apa-apa perabot yang uh, 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 yang embed atau yang dimasukkan dalam AR teknologi ini. So, uh, AR teknologi ini bukan uh, digunakan di perabot atau di produk saja. Kita pun boleh menggunakan di dalam berbagai bidang. Okay? So, uh, di dalam produk, di dalam education. So, kita boleh tengok dalam bidang pendidikan ini. Thank you. 
So, example ini adalah uh, penggunaan uh, AI dalam bidang uh, pendidikan lah. So, dia dengan menggunakan teknologi AI ini, uh, dia lebih menarik uh, 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 perhatian atau minat uh, bela uh, belajar. Okay. So, we go to the next slide. So, basically, so saya nak, nak bincangkan basically apakah uh, saya, saya, I'm sure, tuan-tuan dan puan-puan pernah tengok Uh, barcode, QR code uh, dan uh, dan sebagainya lah. Okay, so apa apakah, apakah beza dia barcode, QR code dengan AR marker ini? Okay, so I'm sure barcode. So kita pergi supermarket, kita pergi uh, 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 shopping. Normally kita kita akan scan our barcode untuk mendapatkan information product information. For example, kita nak tahu harga produk, kita nak tahu expiry date dia atau kita nak tahu bahan-bahan dalam produk itu normally kita boleh menggunakan uh, barcode. So, barcode, so kita ada barcode and then kita scan menggunakan scanner and then dia akan pop up uh, information di dalam screen computer. Okay, tapi barcode dia hanya boleh simpan maklumat atau information yang sangat-sangat limited. Dia hanya boleh simpan teks sahaja. Okay, for example kan kita tengok harga, uh, uh, kita tengok uh, nama brand, itu dalam bentuk teks. So, pakut dia simpan information yang sangat limited. When scan, dia akan pop up teks. So, uh, dia punya function uh, sangat limited lah. Okay, and then kita pergi uh, uh, code yang kedua adalah QR code. So, QR code dia boleh menyimpan maklumat yang lebih banyak berbanding dengan barcode. Okay, so QR code kita bukan sahaja boleh simpan teks, kita pun boleh simpan uh, uh, maklumat uh, website atau image. So, dia berbanding dengan barcode, dia memang... Uh, Uh, boleh simpan banyak information lah. Okay, and then sama saja kita pun menggunakan uh, ada satu barcode, kita pun menggunakan handphone ke atau scanner ke untuk scan our barcode, uh, uh, sorry, our QR code. So, biasanya sekarang kita guna QR code lah. Kan kita uh, boleh scan our uh, 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 kehadiran, kita boleh scan our, uh, sometimes we scan our bank uh, barcode. So, Uh, sorry, QR code. So, kita akan, dia akan, QR code, dia akan pop up lebih banyak information. Okay. So, untuk AR marker, dia punya konsep sama dengan QR code dengan barcode. Dia pun ada satu marker. Okay, kita panggil sebagai AR markers. Okay, AR markers ini, dia boleh, uh, 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 dia boleh diambil sebarang gambar. Okay, apa-apa gambar saja dia boleh dijadikan AR marker. Okay, so AR marker ini, so kita akan scan menggunakan devices seperti handphone, seperti glasses, dia akan pop up. Okay, information bukan sahaja teks, bukan sahaja video, audio, animation, tapi dia boleh lebih banyak lagi seperti uh, seperti 3D modeling. And then, kita boleh berinteraksi, we can interaction with the uh, all these uh, 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 elements, modeling, uh, uh, simulation, uh, we can interaction. For example, we can press the button, we can 
zoom the object, we can do a lot of uh, interaction, okay, in AR marker ini. Okay, so ini adalah perbezaan uh, barcode, QR code dengan AR marker. Okay, so we can go to the next slide. Okay, so how AR works? So, normally AR dia berfungsi atau dia um, uh, 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 works. So, normally kita kena download apps. Okay, dia ada satu uh, apps aplikasi. Kita boleh download daripada uh, Play Store ke atau daripada uh, apps Google App Store ke. Uh, apa Apple App Store ke. So, we need to download the the apps. Okay. So, and then we download and then we install in our handphone or we install in our gadget. So, after this, we need to uh, open the, the, the apps and then we can scan. Okay, we can scan. So, by using handphone or by using any uh, devices lah. Nanti saya akan tunjuk apa devices yang biasa kita guna. And then at the end, the object, the 3D object or not, tak semestinya 3D object lah. Dia boleh ada object uh, video, audio, simulation dan sebagainya. Okay, so dia akan pop up in our phone. Okay, in our uh, daily life or in our real life. Okay, so this is the three basic step lah yang biasa kita akan uh, 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 bagaimana uh, AR uh, berfungsi ini. Okay, so this is the category of AR application. So, dia ada, uh, normally sekarang dia ada tiga jenis uh, kategori lah. So, the first category yang biasa-biasa kita guna adalah AR marker atau kita panggil marker base atau image base. Okay, konsep ini sama tadi saya bincangkan sama dengan barcode, sama dengan uh, QR code. So, we need have a marker. Okay, we need a marker and then this is a marker. Okay, and then we scan by using handphone. We scan by using handphone and then the object, 3D object will pop up. So, notice that this 3D object, dia dah wujud dalam dunia sebenar kita. Yang Taj Mahal ini memang tak ada dalam dunia sebenar kita. Tapi, dia akan pop up uh, uh, di dalam handphone. Okay, menggunakan handphone atau menggunakan gadget ini. Okay. So this is the second. Uh, this is the first one, marker base or image base. So and then we have the second uh, category, which is location base. Location base ini dia tidak dia tidak uh, 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 tak perlu kita tak perlu scan dengan marker, tapi kita boleh uh, identify according to location, according to lokasi. Okay. For example, kita kita sudah tahu kan dalam dunia um, dunia kita kita ada longitude and latitude, okay? So setiap lokasi atau setiap spot di dunia ini dia mesti ada longitude and latitude dia, okay? Atau uh, saya berada di 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 kawasan uh, di rumah saya, so apakah uh, longitude and latitude latitude kita sekarang ini? So dia akan based on our location to pop up to pop up Uh, apakah information yang kita nak share So kita boleh nampak gambar ini Kita boleh nampak gambar ini So ini adalah sesuai untuk uh, Kita nak uh, 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 Share something like uh, Tourist uh, spot Tourist spot for example Kita tekat uh, uh, Kita boleh set Semasa saya berada di uh, Pasar Siti Katiza Okay So saya boleh pop up uh, Certain information Regarding Pasar Siti Katiza So, something like this. Okay? Tapi, based on this one, kita tak perlu menggunakan uh, uh, marker. Kita based on location. Okay? So, kita nampak sini semua adalah location. Nampak restoran, dia apa nama restoran dia, proper star, inilah shopping, uh, kita boleh uh, something like we can buy something from this shop. So, it's all are based on location. That's why we call this as location based. Okay? So, satu game yang sangat popular, okay, yang sekarang pun ada masih orang main lah, which is Pokemon Go, okay Pokemon Go, dia adalah satu example menggunakan location based uh, AR ini, okay, so um, untuk nak main dengan uh, 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 Pokemon Go first step, kita mesti uh, handphone atau gadget kita mesti ada internet, okay, second step adalah kita kena on our 
GPS. Kenapa kita nak on our GPS? Sebab dia nak detect our location. Barulah monster atau Pokemon itu dia akan wujud di tepi-tepi atau di kawasan-kawasan yang berhampiran dengan kita. Okay? So, ini adalah example lah. So, uh, kita boleh tengok video ini ya. Video ini adalah uh, Pokemon Go. Saya download from the internet. So, maybe you can see ya. Uh, uh, how location based uh, berfungsi di dalam AI ini. Here's CNN creeping through the grass. iPhone carefully outstretched. Don't freak out. He's probably just playing Pokemon Go with its brand new Apple Air Kit update. It's an overhaul of the game's augmented reality mode, which makes it way more interesting than before. Instead of Pokemon just kind of floating there, you can walk right up to these creatures and see how tiny or huge they really are. Mind you, they might run away if you get too close. But if you sneak up carefully, they'll be easier to catch and give you bonus experience points, too. For best results, make sure the movement they're calm. Throwing a nano berry can help. When you see those words, expert handler, you're close enough to throw the Pokeball. If you turned off the game's AR mode and never looked back, it might be time to turn it on again, particularly since the game's creator says it uses less battery life now, too. The team says the update should be available soon for iPhone 6S and up, But sadly, there's no word on an Android equivalent. Stay tuned for that one. Okay, so nampak video ini, okay, so ini adalah based on location. Kita tak ada marker, kan marker tak ada atas lantai, tak ada, tak ada damai itu pun tak ada, tak ada marker, tapi monster dia akan pop up. Dia akan pop up, Uh, di taman itu. Kenapa? Sebab dia based on location base. Okay? That's why ini adalah satu example based on the location base inilah. Okay, so kita tengok yang yang ketiga ini. Okay? Yang ketiga ini adalah yang current yang kita sangat-sangat berguna adalah kita based on object tracking. Object tracking adalah dia based on object yang static. Eh? Object yang tak boleh bergerak. Mostly adalah object yang static. Okay? And then dia akan trace dia punya uh, shape dia and then dia boleh pop up information uh, dekat bahagian-bahagian yang dia setkan. Okay, so nampak motor ini. Dia akan trace dengan motor ini dengan menggunakan gadget dia lah. So, and then dia akan pop up information atas objek ini. Okay, and then of course, objek ini mostly adalah uh, static objek atau kita panggil objek yang kita bergerak lah. So, objek yang bergerak dia susah nak trace. So, mostly kita boleh menggunakan dalam objek static, for example, machine. Okay? Machine atau uh, building, okay? Atau um, um, kenderaan, tapi mostly display lah. Macam kita nak 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 pergi showroom kan, showroom kereta. So, kita boleh menggunakan uh, objek tracking untuk show the kereta punya features, okay? Dalam showroom kita. Okay, so ini ada satu example lah. Uh, menggunakan object tracking ini. Okay, so yang di sini kita pun um, boleh menggunakan dalam medical juga atau dalam medical kita nak display part by part of our, our medical atau so kita boleh gunakan objek tracking juga. Okay, uh, setakat ini ada masalah kah? Apa-apa pertanyaan? Hello. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Tan. Ya, ya, ya. Could you present in English, please? If, uh, if possible? Ah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for your thoughts. Okay. So, any any question? Okay. If no question, then uh, I proceed to the next slide. So, so this, this slide I will show. Uh, what is the devices mostly I will use to uh, display the AI, the AR, the object? So mostly. 
we using handheld display. Okay, mostly lah. So we can using a handphone, we can using tablet to view our object. Okay, so maybe student lah. Okay, now I think uh, of, uh, most, of, most of the students, they have the smartphone, they have the camera. So they, they can use handphone to pop up the object in the get in this uh, handheld display okay so the second one is a uh, head mounted display so head mounted display is mostly is like this okay the glass or something we can uh, 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 put on our head so this one we call a head mounted uh, uh, object okay so in uh, we have a lot of company that have the head mounted uh, of uh, uh, devices for example uh, for example microsoft uh, hololens okay microsoft hololens they have the they have the the, the hololens okay they wear the hololens they can display uh, the screen or the the ar object okay in front they are the eyes okay so this is head mounted display okay and then this one is a spatial display means that this one we base on projection okay we base on projection we base on a uh, uh, projection we no need to uh, head uh, handheld we not uh, do a uh, head mounted but we can using a uh, projection light projection okay i'm sure now uh, we can uh, call without using uh, physical phone okay so we can uh, using a light projection and then we can press our button okay and then we can using this uh, we call as a, a spatial display okay okay this is the software because uh, uh, based on my project so uh, my project are most uh, using a 3d model so uh, it's based on your what kind of a uh, E content or e um, information or digital information you want to create. Okay, if you want to create video, of course you need to use a video uh, software lah. If you want to create image, you need to use a image software. So uh, most of my project I'm create a three D model. So this is a three D software. Uh, uh, I recommended uh, 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 to all of you lah. So uh, I'm using Blender. So Blender, why I'm using Blender because uh, it's a free, okay. So I'm not need to pay lah. So if you want uh, have uh, more features, you can using 3D Max or uh, 3D Maya, okay. But uh, I think Blender is quite uh, uh, useful and uh, uh, quite uh, a lot of function that we can use in the Blender, okay, to create 3D uh, object. Okay, so this is the all other 3D uh, we can support AR. So you can, if you if you familiar using as Google Sketch, uh, Google SketchUp, uh, SolidWorks, uh, uh, Rhino, and so on. So you can proceed with uh, what kind of the software you uh, familiar. Okay. So um, this is the we call as a AR creator or we are SDK. So SDK is a software development kit. Ne? So SDK or AR creator. Okay. So. Um, in the market, we have a, a, a lot of uh, uh, AR uh, SDK. So, uh, for example, we can use a uh, Wuforia. We can uh, using uh, uh, AR Toolkit, AR Core, uh, Zwork, Laya, and so on. Uh. So, um, AR Toolkit uh, is developed by uh, Apple. So, of course, if you uh, create AR for Apple. So you need to use AR to keep uh. So if you are uh, developed for uh, AR for uh, Android, so you can using AR Core because this is developed by this software is developed by uh, Google. Okay. So uh, of course, if if you using Euphoria, it support for both lah. So you can using Euphoria to create uh, AR for uh, Apple and uh, Android. Okay. And this is uh, uh, another uh, software or a creator we are um, using. So today, today uh, I'm using uh, Zwork uh, to do some hands-on. Okay, to do some uh, uh, to do one project lah. Okay, uh, is uh, I think this is more easy 
because um, we have uh, no enough time to using uh, Euphoria and others. Okay, we're using uh, this creator. Okay, so uh, this is the game engine. So mostly, just now you see, uh, uh, when I want to create uh, apps, uh, a game, so normally we need to using game engine. Okay, so the game engine, uh, Unity or uh, Unreal. Of course, in the market, we have a lot of game engine. But uh, this is a two uh, uh, we can I can say a uh, uh, major uh, uh, game engine we are using now, okay? Unity or Unreal, okay? Next, next, okay. For my project, this is my project. So based based based, based uh, of my experience, so I'm using three D mode uh, uh, Blender to create three D, okay? And then plus Euphoria. Okay, this is the Unity uh, AI library. Yeah? So, our uh, AI SDK, I'm using Euphoria and then plus Unity to create the uh, 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 apps or to create the, the, the games by using Unity. So, uh, this is the combination. Uh, this is the combination. This is the software I'm using. I'm using 3D software. I'm using uh, SD, AI SDK and the game engine. Okay, and to create the AI apps. Okay. Next, next. This is the a few example lah. This is my project. So I will show. I will share some example uh, uh, with you. So this one I'm using uh, Blender, three uh, D model, uh, Unity, and Euphoria. Okay, so basically, I just want to create a catalog, okay, a simple catalog to introduce a, a modern mosque and the traditional mosque in Kelantan. So um, I'm using this one uh, 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 in my class as well. Okay, I just I just want to show my to my student uh, uh, how the AR look like and how the architecture of this building look like. So. Um, this one I'm using a uh, brand three a three D blender blender lah. okay. And this one is for the kids, okay, to learn a uh, few animals, uh, wildlife animals, okay. So this is an app I develop my own. Okay, and then I have uh, two more. This one is uh, uh, for animation uh, video or animated uh, uh, character to learn Japanese language. Okay. Unity, I'm using Unity. This is the marker. This is marker.
Okay, so this is the coloring book. I'm using AR as well. So um, we can, um, this is more interaction. Nah. This is more interaction means that uh, the, the user atau kanak, or the children can color uh, the animal and then the animal will pop up according to what color the, the children color. Okay, so maybe we can, we can see this video. You see the children color blue, so you put up in blue color. Okay, so this is a few examples uh, of my project, so I'll share with you. So, um, thank you. So, um, before I go to the next uh, part, so any question you can ask me? Any question? Uh, of course, if you want, uh, using these two hours to create a complete uh, AR is impossible because we need to share, uh, learn how to use a, a blender. Uh, if you want to create 3D model, if you want, if you need to learn how to use a, a AR SDK, and then you need to learn how to use a uh, Unity. Okay, so uh, I think it take time, but but it's just uh, 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 I um, it's, for current being. I just want to share. Uh, this is the function of AR. But of course, later I will use some uh, creator, AR creator to create AR uh, to let you all to experience uh, how to make your own AR by using creator. It's more simple by using creator. Okay, so um, any question? Okay, that's good. So if no question, so we proceed to the second part. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the question in chat box. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Chat box. Um, which one? Okay, could you please present English? Okay. Can you, can you be visual combine audio? Can be visual? Of course. Of course, it can it can uh, pop up like just now. Just now, uh, uh, my Japanese uh, conversation uh, apps. So it's it's audio and video. We combine both. Okay, so I bought the car when you use can anymore. Then you come up as well. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Okay, 
just now like the cow the cow when i i press the button and then it will it will pronounce cow c o w cow and then you pronounce the the sound of the cow so uh we can combine okay ai is is com you can combine a lot of what we call as a multimedia elements uh, so we have uh, in the multimedia we have five elements audio video text uh, image and animation okay so we can brand we can we can integrate we can combine all these elements in our ar application okay that's why it's compared with a uh, uh, barcode ar code so ar market is uh, more informative if we can we can uh, keep uh, we can uh, keep in a lot of information in our ar market okay okay how much time did you spend to create one or content okay um it depends on what kind of content you want to create okay uh be before that uh i i shared my section to others a uh, group they also asked the same question okay uh how time or uh how how what how many um days i need to create the content is it's really depend on on what you want to create for example okay i give you the example like uh the moss i i create just now okay uh i use um one week okay to create the the content to create the 3d model okay maybe if you uh your object is uh, uh like simple object or 3d simple 3d maybe one or two days you can you can you can you can create uh, uh the 3d model okay sometime you need to outsourcing your 3d model no worry you can outsourcing okay you also saying you uh, ask somebody to help you to do and then you uh, import or you embed your 3d model in your ar in your app you know it's okay okay if you have budget okay you can also sing uh, ask somebody to 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 create the 3d model for you and then you just use in your apps okay so it's depend if you if your content is using video if you content using video maybe you can one day to take your video to snap your video to edit your video and then you can put inside your ar we think one day you can do that okay so it depends on 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 what kind of we can see e content what kind of e content you 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 want to 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 create okay uh sure uh this video this video uh we will share uh later in uh, uh youtube or in other platform lah. so uh our uh technical team will, will will share it to to you all lah. okay so any any question any question i am not answer yet no okay in no question then we proceed to the second part we proceed to the second part this is my second part okay this is i'm using z work uh creator uh to create simple ar okay this this is not very hard because we're using uh add and drag and drop only okay drag and drop and then uh 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 uh, uh, uh to create our ar um uh application okay this is not uh hard like uh, using unity using uh, wufuria and using a uh, blender okay but for you all to experience okay how to create ar uh i think this is a good start okay to for us to 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 experience how to create the a ar okay so maybe you can uh, uh in the market uh, i'm not i'm not uh uh uh, uh if if you're familiar with using others uh, uh ar creator you can proceed uh, okay this in the market okay we uh there are a lot of uh ar creator okay not only this one we have a lot okay but why i want to select this one because uh um i using this before in my class so uh i just want to share uh, my experience okay how to using uh these tools okay so um just click for this one uh can you see see my 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 screen can you see my screen my zebra screen yes okay yes yes 
Yes. So this is this is a zip word. So maybe if you can type zip a uh, zap dot work zap dot work, so maybe you can type. So uh, of course, if you are the first user, first time user, you need to uh, register. Lah. So after this, uh, uh, you can log in. Okay. So I just click uh, uh, free trial. Okay, free trial version is for this network, we can use all the function, but the limitation is we can use only 30 days. Of course, uh, you know some freeware, they have a lot of limitation until we, uh, uh, and unless we pay for that. Lah. So I think for current being, uh, we, can, we can create our own AR, we can create our own app, and then we can share to our student, to online, to the, the internet. Okay, to the internet or to the online or to the e-learning. Okay, so this is, uh, we can using uh, only for 30 days. Okay, so after 30 days, uh, the content, uh, you, can log, you, you can log in, but you, the, the user cannot view. Uh, can you mute, Doctor? We couldn't see the web, we just see the presentation. Can you open the, the web, the tab that you moved there? Okay, sure. Okay, on, thank on. you. Go on, eh? Okay, now you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. So this is my screen. Okay. So this is the. Uh, I repeat again. Uh, maybe. Um, uh, so this is the, the 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 tools I'm using in my teaching and learning. So called Z work. So you can type Z Z dot works and then you can you can uh, come to this page lah. come to this page and then if you are first time user if you are first time user you can uh, 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 register you need to register of course and then if you are uh, the user you can just uh, log in lah. okay so I'm just uh, click a uh, free trial okay after I click free trial so just this, this is my layout this is my layout. So I when I start my project, okay. This is the place I start my project. So um, I just want to mention here the limitation for free version uh, for Z work. They only support for thirty days. They only you can try only for thirty days. After this, it will be expired, okay. But you can use all the function in Z work, okay. You can use you can create as many as possible projects you want. Okay, this is the first project I create uh, this morning. Okay, you can create a lot. You can create a lot of projects. They are not uh, uh, limited how many projects because some of the, the tools, uh, AR tools, they have a limitation like, for example, you can create three, you can create one, you cannot have uh, many pages, you cannot have many markers. So, in this network, you can, you can create a lot of projects as you want. But the limitation is only 30, only 30 days. Okay? So when I uh, start my, how I start my project, so maybe I start my project, I can start here, new project. Okay, this is my first project. Huh? So I, I start my uh, new project or my second project. So after this, you can type your project name. For example, AR, AR, um, AR, um, let's say for example, I want to do this uh, AR, uh, for example. Okay. For example. Okay, so you start with design. You are not using studio. Eh? You start with design, designer, and then you go to the next. So for the uh, free user, you, you just can use a uh, zap code. So you just type zip code. Just click zip code. Eh? So after this, you create your 
project. It's simple. If you're familiar, you can make it within five minutes if you have content. Okay. So this is my um, uh, next uh, layout. So I just open designer. Okay. So after you open designer, you can view like this is the video how to start how the tutorial, the simple tutorial you can use. Okay. And this is the step. This is the step. Uh, you need to download your zip code. You need to upload your tracking image. Tracking image other, uh, is the markers. Uh. Tracking image is the markers. And then you can analyzing your tracking image and then you can review again or you can preview your tracking image. Okay. So, um, you can start now you start now nah. you can you can, if you want to view you can view lah. if you don't want you can skip for this one you just download your zip code okay the zip code is uh, uh, uh the code lah, to trigger your uh ar so for free version you need to select any one any one lah. you can select any one of this okay you can select any one of these to be your uh, 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 zip zip code. Okay, so I, for example, I select um, this one. Okay, so this is my zip code. Okay, so I download it. I download it. So I download my uh, zip code here. So in my folder, I download in my folder. Okay. So next is what? After I download my zip code, so I go to the next. So next is you need to combine your zip code with your marker, with your image. Okay, this is your image. Eh? And then you need to combine. Just now I download my marker here. This is my marker. So I need to download, sorry, my code. Eh? So I need to combine my code. I need to put my code inside my image. Okay. So I need to use uh, another software or another image software to do this step. I need to using uh, image software to do this step. For example, if you're familiar using Photoshop, using uh, uh, others uh, image software, you can do that. Okay. So I repeat again. Uh, this step is you need to use another editor okay you need to use another editor to combine okay to combine your marker and your code just now you download your code right so this is, this is your code and then you need to put inside your marker okay so this step i need to uh, uh, uh to minimize this again okay now you can see my desktop screen right can you see my desktop screen? Yes. Okay. So this is my desktop screen. And then, um, okay. So for example, uh, this is the resources I have. Okay. This is, this is the resources I have. Okay. This is the marker. This is your image. You can select any image to be your marker. You can select any image. With, I select this one as my marker. Okay. You can select any image as your marker. Uh. I repeat. Okay. So I select this one as my marker, and then this is the content. This is my video I developed uh, before. This is the gallery uh, image I download. Actually, I download from the internet, uh, okay? Because I want to use uh, this gallery to put inside my AR. So this, before you start your AR project, you need to have your e content. Of course, you need to have your e content, uh, like your video, like your image, like your marker. Okay, so you need to have your e-content. Okay, so now I want to combine the zip code into my marker, into my marker. So in this, uh, uh, in my project, I'm using uh, Zim, J-I-M-P. Uh, this is a, a image software. This is an image software I'm using. You can use any any image software or photo photo software to to do this uh, step.
Okay. So now I open my um, my software. So I put my marker inside. Okay, this is my marker, right? This is my marker. So I need to put the zip code anywhere you want. You can put the zip code anywhere you want. So now I want to um, to find out the zip code. So where's my zip code? Okay, this is my zip code. So I just put inside. So I this is my repeat now. Huh? So this is my zip code and this is my image. This is my zip code. So the zip code, um, you can make it a uh, small, a bit, no need uh, as big uh, like this, because you can put in uh, in one of the corner in your marker. Okay, you can put here, you can put here, anywhere you want, but you need it to make it small a bit. Okay, this code, you need to make it small a bit. So maybe I'm using this software uh, to make it small, to make it small. Okay, and then I can move to anywhere I want. You can move to anywhere. You can put to anywhere you want. Okay, you can move to anywhere. You can put this, put here, put here. You can put anywhere you want. So normally I put here. Lah. Okay, so now I already combine my marker and the zip code. I already combine my marker and the zip code. So now I want to save. I want to save this one. So maybe I just change the name as um, a marker. Um, .png. I save as a marker.png. So you can save any, any place you want. So I just click export. Okay. Go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it can, we can use any uh, software? Uh, yes. As long as, as long as the image is dot uh, jpg. Yes, you can. You can use any any uh, image software to combine your marker and the zip code. You can use any any software. If you okay. if you are not very familiar, you can use Pen Shop. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can use anything. Okay, okay. Thank you. So I just minimize for this one because I finished already. Uh, just minimize for that. So I go back to my uh, this one, okay. So when I go back to um, to my resources, uh, when I go back to my resources, when I go back to my resources, so you can see this is my marker Istana Jaha. This is my marker. This is my new uh, image. I can combine the code. This is this is the new marker I'm using. This is the code. This is the marker and this is the code I'm using. Okay, you can you see that this is the code. So I'm using this as my marker. So um, so I come back to this again. So now I upload the tracking image. Okay, I upload the tracking image. So just click. So this one is my tracking image. So this one is because we have marker here, right? Okay, uh, the, the code here. Okay, so I just open for that. So uploading. Okay, so now you can see here. Uh, uh, I can say this image is a good marker because it can recognize this image very, very, uh, very clear. Okay, you can see this is all the green color, right? Green color is good, moderate, and poor. So if your if your image uh, a lot of red, uh, red color means that your image are not suitable to be marker. So you need to select another image. Okay. So according to my this image, so this is good lah. So I can use this as my marker. So use this trace image. Okay. 
So now I need to uh, wait a, uh, a while for processing. Okay, so after processing, so this is my marker. So what kind of uh, uh, object you want to pull up? So for this one, for this uh, software, they only can pull up uh, image, photo, video, sound, text, button, contact number, and uh, calendar event. Uh, you cannot using this one to pull up 3D model, but it's quite enough. You can, uh, if you want to share the video, to your uh, 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 to your student or to your user, you can uh, uh, use this uh, video. Okay. So, for example, uh, I want to pop up video. I want to pop up video. Uh, so I just click. So you can uh, click the link, or you can upload from your PC or your own computer, or you can share to Vimeo. So maybe I just upload my own video. So I click this one. So I need to upload a video. Okay, so just now I want to share this video, right? So video Istana Jaha. So I just click this as a video and then I click OK. So I just need to wait uh, until finish uploading. Lah. Okay, what is the limitation for your video? So what is the, the size for your video? You only can upload up to 500 MB. Okay, now my video is 175 MB. Okay, it's okay. But you can upload until 500 MB. Okay, or two minute video. Or two minute video. Okay, so you need to con you need to uh, think about this. Lah. So don't make your videos uh, uh, as big as uh, 500 MB. Okay or more than two minutes sorry more than 10 minutes okay so we just uh, wait for a while uh while uploading so i cannot do anything we just uh wait for that dr tan yeah 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 can i ask if uh, the processing requires resources a lot of resources from the computer no need no this based on uh the process is just uploading we are not using our computer to do the processing the processing means that we are not upload our content in into their server into zip work server okay thank you okay we are not processing in our 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 in our computer okay now actually we are now we are put all the content in the crowd but in the server Okay, so any question while we, we are waiting for this one? Sorry, it depends on your video. If your video is as big as me, like me, 175 MB, uh, it, maybe it take, take time. Sometimes it depends on your internet. Uh. Dr. Tan? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just want to explore the use of that work. Uh, can yeah. we just uh, use the e-content from, from the outsource, from the free source in the YouTube or whatever? Okay. Just now, I show the video, right? The video, you see here, you can share YouTube, Vimeo, and you can upload your uh, own video. I see, I see. Okay, thank you. Wait for a while eh, because I'm loading. Dr. Tan, one more yeah, question. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so okay. far, uh, the image or, or the the material we use is a physical image, okay, like uh, like catalog book and image. Mm. 
uh what about if the content from the website can we use uh, AR? the content means the marker or the marker uh, the marker the marker the marker the you marker. can be the marker you can be a soft copy or hard copy okay okay thank you uh, you can be a soft copy you can be a hard copy you if you uh, like like currently uh you cannot send the hard copy to a student you can send the soft copy they can view to the soft copy okay okay thank you yeah yeah Okay, so after we are uploading, uh, hold on, uh. <clears throat> we wait for a while. So we, at, at, at the same time, any question you can ask me. Yeah? Dr. Tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, what kind of subject uh, we are using AR at my third? Um, in my subject, uh, I have one subject called uh, Multimedia in Museum. Okay. okay. So, so this, this subject, I'm using, um, I asked the student, to do uh, uh, video recording. This is all the video I record by my student uh, uh, to do a video recording. And then uh, after you have the content and then you do the AR marker to help museum to promote their, their, the, the museum. Okay? okay. So okay. the student will uh, send all the soft copy, uh, uh, all the flyers, uh, in the uh, in, uh, in the place and then user or the 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 tourist uh, can scan to pull up the 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 the, the video in in, yes, yes, yes. in their handphone okay thank you thank you okay so this is the video so this is the video so you can put the video to anywhere you want so you want to put you can put here 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 you can put to anywhere you want so this is the the, the size that you can you can adjust uh, the adjust this is a location x and y you can s x and y location the size you can adjust here uh, you can adjust here so yeah you can adjust here okay okay you can adjust your your size okay if you want to exact the size you want so you can you can uh, adjust lah here okay one more thing is you have seen seen one you have a lot you can add a lot of scene uh, you want scene is like page 
like website page, uh, you have page one, page two, page three, and page four. So you can have scene one, scene two, and scene three, and scene four, and so on. So you can change this. You can add as many as scene you want. For example, this is the video scene. Uh, I call this a video scene. So I click this one. You can go down a bit. At the bottom part, uh, you can change your scene name. You can change your scene name to video. For example, this is my video scene. Uh, so I call this as a video. Okay, so you can do some setting for your video. Okay, you can do some setting for your video. So you can uh, play on start, like, like Facebook. La. So when I view, it will automatically play. So you can set uh, what you want. Okay, when you start, straight away, uh, directly they will uh, play the video. Okay, or you want to look the video. Okay, or you want to hide the 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 con the control this is the control you want to hide okay or anything you you can set yourself okay so this is this part for producer you can set do the setting okay you can do the setting and then action is you can uh, when finished you can go to where this is the action you want to do transition transition means that you can add some uh, animation uh fit in fit out how many how many uh second you want and so on so this is all the, the transition you if you want okay and then this is the appearance okay you can you want to like this you see uh, this is apparent this is apparent apparent this is a normal uh, original one okay so this this part you can do the size the setting for your size and this part you can do the setting like properties action transition and appearance for your object for your for your object okay so you can do do something like this okay so, so this is the, the, the first scene. Okay, so for example, okay, I want to add another scene, gallery scene. So you just add gallery scene. So I just click this one, scene two. Okay, just I want to rename for this one, scene two. So I just rename as gallery. So I have two scenes. Huh? Scene one, I go back to video scene. Scene two, I go I go to another scene, but this scene I not add anything yet. So it's an empty scene. Okay, one and two. Okay, so in the second scene, I want to add photo album. Okay, I want to add photo album. Okay, so I just uh click photo album. Okay, I just upload the image I want. So for example, I have these three these three image to be my photo album. So one, two, three. So I just click OK. And, and upload okay so one two three so this is two uh to be my photo album i just use selected image okay so this is the scene two uh, so scene one and scene two one and two one is video two is the photo gallery if i want to share okay so now from scene one, how I go from scene video, how I go to gallery. So of course I need to add button. Okay, when I click the button, you will go to the next scene, like website. I click uh, home, I go back to home. I click gallery, I go to gallery. So I need to add button here. So from the video scene here, I add a button. So this is a button. So maybe button you can just type gallery. So means that I click this button, um, I go to gallery. Okay, but of course we are not at action yet. So now I want to add action. I want to add action. I click for this one, you go to um, action. Okay, you can change if you want to change the color the, the, the color you can change. Uh. So uh, I go to the action. Means that when I click for this button, I want go to scene. You want go to scene, scene what? Scene, gallery. Okay, means that when I in a video scene, I click this button, you go to the next scene. Okay, so this is the gallery scene. Okay, so you can make up, if you want to make it uh, nice a bit, so you can, uh, for example, um, you can change the color if you want, um, change to uh, the, the red color, you want to make it as, more a bit okay 
or you can you can do any any setting you want or you want to do the transition okay transition okay i can make it two transition uh, uh fit in okay. dr tan yeah can we customize our buttons like uh, okay. Okay. Okay, no. button only only we have this few few selection okay button only we have this few selection okay okay so this is the the button eh? okay so I, I create the button so i go to the this scene scene gallery eh? so when i click this scene i need to go back to video scene right when i go in this scene i go back to this one so of course do the same thing you add another button okay you add the button this button is maybe you go to the video okay i want to view the video same thing you can change um the setting you want you can put anywhere you want actually okay so you can uh, you can um do some action for example uh go to scene right i go to scene and then scene video okay actually uh, you if you have a lot of scene uh, you, you can select the scene you want okay so means that i click this one i go to scene video okay so if you uh, do some transition if you want you can do uh, uh transition in transition out appearance this is apparent so you can change the color what color you want the purple color or what color you want so one more thing i want to add here is what if i have website when i when i want to click this website it can pop up another website for me so it means that you can add, add another button here okay so maybe this button is a um, website website okay so website so i make it small a bit so website of course the website i need to have the link the website link for example uh, for example i go to a, a website called uh, istana Istana jaha website uh. so for example okay so this is the website i want to view this is the website i want to view uh. so i just copy the link i just copy the link uh. i just copy this link I go back here again so this is a website means that i click this button will pop up this uh website okay so uh go to the action again go to action again now you are not go to scene uh, you are link to you are link to where you want to link you want to link to uh this is now the website okay open in external browser means that open a new uh, browser Okay, so normally I need now. I need normally I click for this one because a new uh, website, a new browser. Okay, so uh, I already do a few settings. Uh, scene one, video scene. So I create a button, and then when I click this button, go to the uh, scene gallery. So when I go to the scene gallery, I click this button. I can go back to the video scene, or I can pop up a website with the link uh with with the link I, I i said just now okay so this is the basic one okay so you can try for others so now i want to preview so i want to preview so how i want i want to preview so i just click this one to preview okay i just click one to preview so you just wait for a while you just wait for a while and then they will come out this one okay so how to preview so if you want to preview okay you need to if you want to preview okay the first thing is you need go to uh, google play store or apple f store to download this zapper zapper okay you need to download this one zapper or zapper or any 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 pronoun pronoun for this one okay you download for this one okay and then next is scan scan means that you need to scan for this one you need to scan for this one because this is for preview okay and then the object will pop up on your phone on your phone so the first thing is you need to download for this one okay so uh it's a time constraint so i just show the a, a video a video uh, how i preview this is the video how i preview 
a zip code preview. So how I preview, so maybe you can uh, you can uh, try for see for this one. Okay, this I click the preview. This is the app I download. Presentation. Okay, when I click uh, uh, gallery, go to the gallery uh, page. Okay. So this is how I preview lah. So firstly, you need to download the, the 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 apps. Okay. After you download the app, and then you open your app, you just scan. You say scan. You just scan, and then the 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 content will pop up in your handphone. So you can preview, and then you can try in your uh in your handphone. Okay. So uh after this one, uh actually you can add as you can try. Uh, page how many page you want actually if you have a uh, another page and so on so you can add uh, as many page as you want okay i delete this scene uh, because the, the scene i don't need so i just delete okay i delete my the scene okay so uh if you if you want to preview you just click this one so if you are uh, uh, happy if you are satisfied with your with your uh uh uh, uh ar so the last step is you need to publish. You need to publish. Okay. You need to publish. So after you click your publish, okay. After you click your publish, you can share your marker to your student. Okay. Means that the student need to download uh, the app and then scan with your markers and then uh, the content will pop out in their handphone. Okay. So this is a step. Okay. So means that you can share this one. So copy here. Uh, you can share to WhatsApp. You can share to what whatever you want. So the student will click, will download the 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 the, the apps, the apps, and then he or she uh, scan will pop up the content. Will pop up the content in their handphone. Okay. So this is the uh, the the markers. Okay. So the one more thing is I want to share here is. Anytime you edit uh, or you update, you need to publish. Okay. Let's say, for example, uh, now I add one image here. For example, uh, I add one image here. Okay. For example, I add one image here. I add this image here. For example. Okay. I add one image. Okay. I have already edited, right? So you can preview or the last step is you need to publish. If not, the student only can view the old version, not the new version. Okay? You need to publish again. Okay? Because you are not published, the, the, the student only can view the old version. If you have editing, you have updating, uh, you need to publish again. Uh, click this button to publish. If you want to preview, you can click, uh, click this one. Okay. So um, basically, this is uh, um, uh, how uh, zip book, uh, zip zapper work. So if you want to go back to your add another project, so you can go back to your uh, project again. Doctor Tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you said that uh, when we do uh, any uh, updates, we have to publish. Yes. Okay. So yes. is it we must uh, share again the the latest one? The marker, if you are not changed, if you not change your marker, no need. They can use the old marker. Okay, I see. Ah. Yeah, I see. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. You can use the old marker. No, no worry with your marker because you are using the same marker. For example, you're using the same uh, barcode or, or you're using the same barcode or using the QR code, but the content is different only. But the marker will still use the same. Okay? Same with the AR. Okay, 
So I think uh, if you want to uh, add another new project, you just click, you just, you just click for uh, this project, and then you create a new new project you want. Okay. So um, I think uh, that's all I can share with you all. So any question you can ask. Any question? Any question for, for uh, you can ask me or I can see from this. Upload YouTube. Okay. Okay, that's think, time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's, say, let's say we want to create a e catalog. Mm. Okay. Uh, when we combine uh, with AR, is it uh, uh, it will uh, effect to the loading of our e catalog or not? Uh, uh, again, sorry. Okay. Uh, contohnya lah kan, kalau kita nak buat e-commerce kan, kita ada e catalog kan. Hmm. Okay, kalau kita combine dengan AR, hmm. so loading time to e catalog dia akan mengambil masa ke tak? Um, kalau dia, dia, dia kita sudah upload dalam server dia, so depend on internet juga. So jika dia internet cepat, dia akan cepat lah view. Okay, okay, thank hmm. you. Okay, so any any question you can ask before I end my uh, presentation, before I end my section. Any question? Uh, let me check uh, any text here. Um, I think um, I think no question. I think that's all for today. So um, uh, thank you for all uh, to join my uh, uh, sharing section. So I hope we can make again uh, in future. Lah. So hopefully I can share more uh, information uh, more tools to you, uh, uh, to you all, and thank you for uh, PKPA, okay, uh, inviting me uh, uh, to share this uh, section to you all, okay. Uh, I think if no question, then uh, I end my section. So uh, thanks again. Bye. <coughs> thank you, Dr. Tan, for the great sharing. Those who want to uh who want to uh the, the slide presentation and the recorded session please email uh, to me uh read one at umk to request <coughs> the link yang yang uh yang untuk umk kita akan uh, linkkan uh, ni masukkan link dalam e campus terima kasih semua see you <coughs>